Welcome to Texas Senior Softball Podcast. This is Cameron Warren, your host, episode 11. Today we're going to talk about the February 8th 250 tournament, how it turned out, who won it, who plays second, third, and fourth. We're also going to talk about the uh, February 29th tournament that is being hosted in Plano at Heritage Park. Five fields, a very nice complex from what I've heard. We're going to talk about the February 29th tournament down in San Antonio, Texas. Seniors, it is an unsanctioned tournament. And we're going to talk about the North versus South here at DFW in the Metroplex. So let's get ready to uh, get into this. Now, February the 8th, we had a tournament. There was a 250 tournament. First time we've ever had a 250 tournament in senior ball. This tournament was hosted by GSA USA. Uh, Matt McGee was the tournament host up here in North Texas. Now, I did not make this tournament, although my team was kind of in it. We had a half team of some of the Texas Live guys and some pickup players uh, to fill out the team to play in. Now, from what we've heard, or from what I've heard, this was a great tournament. Very few to no issues, just minor questions on the field due to the rules, um, which is expected with the 250 with the senior ball. Now, the results, the top three teams, the Bullets, won the championship. Killer Bomb Texas Live took second, and the Bears and Mayhem tied for third. Okay, in the uh, semifinal rounds, the Bears played the Bullets, lost that game 28-7, while uh, the Killer Bombs beat Mayhem 30-28. to Then in the finals, now, the Bullets beat the Killer Bombs 32-28. to Guys, these sounds like they were some fun games. That game was played at 12.15 in the morning due to some restrictions Carrollton put on uh, the tournament. They couldn't start till late in the day, like 1.15. But from what I understand, it was fun. Everybody enjoyed it, and it's something that they might want to do again in the future. Now, we have two tournaments coming up. One is here in the North Texas area on February the 29th. That tournament is being played at Heritage Park in Plano, while the other tournament for seniors is being played in San Antonio, Texas. It is an unsanctioned tournament. Um, I kind of talked to the guy throwing the tournament. He has thrown some regular U-Trip tournaments in the past, so he is trying to get into the seniors game. It is unsanctioned. I'm not sure what the rules would be. He said that they have them pretty much the same as the rules that we've played in the past. So, for you South Texas teams, you might want to take a look at that flyer. Um, it is posted on my Facebook page, which I cannot get to. I was going to tell you who to get in contact with, but at this point, I cannot get to it. Um, but take a look at my Facebook page, Texas Senior Softball Podcast. Uh, the the uh, tournament is posted there. It's got the guys' contact information and the prizes, which I can't see in that as well. Now, coming up, for us up here in North Texas, we have 18 teams in this tournament coming up on February 29th. We have five fields at Heritage Park. Guys, let's try to uh, help Matt McGee out and keep the trash to a minimum, pick up, throw it away, all that good stuff. You know the routine. We're 40 and over, guys. Um, but, unfortunately, there are no open flames at Heritage Park, which means no grills. Man, we, we're going to miss out on some good food, probably. Um... Also, it is alcohol-free park as well, so you might want to uh, watch your P's and Q's out there, guys, and try not to get in trouble with the popo as they will be touring the park, from what I understand. Um, get in touch with Matt. He can give you more details. Uh, it is a three-game guarantee. The prize package is posted on the two Facebook pages, the North Texas Senior Softball page and the Texas Senior Softball Podcast page. So, take a look at those the prize packages are decent they're the the custom gsa prize package the 12 uh custom uniforms i believe a senior bat for the winning team um i'm not quite sure what second and third place are getting off top of my head now we also have a tournament coming up in march early march like a week after we're done with matt's tournament north versus south played at BLD, hosted by Lone Star. This tournament, as far as the regular softball, is filling up quick. I believe he said there's six or seven of the um, senior teams right now signing up. I know a lot of teams wait till the last minute. But guys, this one should be a good one as well. 
the North versus South is usually a fun tournament to play in. So let's take a look at uh, trying to fill that one up too. I know it's a quick turnaround for us seniors, um, but and I, I've talked to Jason trying to see if they're going to get another park for the seniors to play at. I'm not quite sure what they're going to try to do there. Uh, if not, man, we're going to have some wild brackets again because of the size of the tournament, guys. And yeah, I've got to understand that. Um, they're, they do have multiple divisions playing out there. So let's see how they handle that this time around. Give Lone Star another shot at the seniors. Um, see how it works out for us. All right, guys, back to the uh, 29th tournament. I have the team list pulled up. I finally got back into my Facebook. We have the... Uh, Ogen X, North Texas OG, PHS 40s, Players Only, The Bears, Bounty Hunters, The Short Bus, Texas Live, Mayhem, Slinging Wood, The Bullets, Weekend Warriors, as in Week Weekend Warriors, Hit Squad, Team Tribe 50s, Crisis 50s, Living Legends, Natural Disaster, and Texas Coyotes. Those are all AAA teams, and the lone major team is All Star Plumbing. This is a three game guarantee. First place is awarded 12 team jerseys and a senior bat. Second place is 12 team jerseys. Third place is one senior bat. Now, these are all based on 18 paid teams, which, as at this point in time, the tournament is full with 18 teams. Um, I believe this is going to be a fun one. Guys, this is going to be a three-game guarantee, so it's going to be a long, long day. If you get in the loser's bracket, whoo, boy, you got your work cut out for you. Um, hopefully, Texas Live doesn't end up there. Um, that's who I'll be with, and hopefully we have a nice little run. But, guys, get ready. This is going to be a fun tournament that weekend. Hopefully, weather holds out, dries out for us, so the fields are nice and dry, and uh, we can go out there and compete. Guys, look forward to seeing y'all out there. Hopefully, we'll see a bunch of teams at the North versus South uh, UCSA tournament coming up in BLD. Go get registered, and let's have a good time. Guys, stay young and keep swinging for the fences.